Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. I am so excited to bring you today's video because we are pregnant. Like I never thought I would be able to say those words, but we are pregnant. And if you are new to our channel, um, my husband Eric and I just did IVF. We did our first transfer in August, August 15th. And so that makes us now six weeks pregnant. Um, and so if you're curious as to what my symptoms were just the week or so after our transfer, go ahead and keep watching. So as I said, August 15th was our transfer day. And so I went ahead and just kind of documented um, each day after that until we went to our beta blood test, which is where they take your blood and measure if you have HCG, and that basically tells you if you're pregnant or not. Anyway, um, so I, day by day, just kind of wrote down things that stuck out to me. Um, I was trying not to be too symptom crazy and write down everything um, because I just didn't want to drive myself crazy. And <laughs> so I will just, go through what I have written down day by day. Um, and I do want to disclaim here though that I was on progesterone and estrogen. Um, both of those were injections. Progesterone I did every single day. I still do it. Um, and estrogen is done on Tuesdays and Fridays. So I have pregnancy hormones already pumping through me even before the transfer. And so it was kind of hard to distinguish like, is this a pregnancy symptom or is this an actual, like just hormone <laughs> that I'm injecting into myself? Is that just a symptom from that? So um, I will do my best to kind of just point out the things that I felt were actual symptoms and not just like actual pregnancy symptoms, things that felt different and um, after my transfer as before. So, and they're not just like symptoms of the hormones. So, okay, here we go. So, um, so the day of the transfer, it was a Wednesday. Um, I just felt a little bit of cramping, which is I think normal. Like just you, you've got stuff going up into your uterus. <laughs> They've opened up your cervix. I think it's just normal to feel that cramping. Um, and it wasn't like, I would say it's like mild to moderate cramping. And then Thursday, the day after, um, I felt just mild cramping. That's the only thing I felt was just a little bit of cramping. Okay, so then um, Friday, which was three days, I guess, post-transfer, two days post-transfer, um, I was just tired, just tired. But um, I had been tired before the transfer anyway because I think the progesterone makes you really tired. Saturday I wrote that I was just a little tired more than normal and then Sunday which would be I think that was four days post transfer so Friday would have been two days Saturday's three days post transfer and Sunday would have been four days post transfer. Um, Sunday I wrote that I had mild nausea in the morning just like a little bit of that morning sickness feeling, which the estrogen can cause that. And so just a tiny little bit of um, nausea in the morning and at night that day. Um, and then um, I ended up having to get up out of bed and eat some crackers. And I had a little bit of a headache that day as well. Um, but like I said, those things I think were more just from the hormones pumping through me. Um, then Monday morning, I still felt a little bit of nausea when I woke up, but this day was when I felt tightness in my low abdomen, like the same kind of tightness I feel when I do a workout, like an ab workout, but I definitely hadn't done an ab workout for a while. So I was like, it was just weird. I remember I was like twisting and it was like this pull, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It was like, this is like kind of dull pulling feeling. Anyway, um, and I remember feeling it even after that night. So it was Monday night, which is five days post transfer. I went to bed and I had taken a nice hot shower before, um, or not like too hot guys. I took it like a warm shower, but I like got my body relaxed and went to bed and 
I felt that tightness like when I was laying down in bed. Like I felt like I couldn't turn, like twist. So I was like nervous about twisting. Um, and then um, I remember that night Eric put on scented. He he got this like men's bath and body lotion, which sm- like usually smells really good to me. But he put it on before bed, and I was like, "You need to get that off because that is way too strong." So I don't know if that was five days post transfer, which would be like 10 days post ovulation. If that was like, a like first pregnancy sign, I don't know. Um, but it was bad. I was like, take that off, take that off. It was too strong. Okay. So then Tuesday, which would be six days post transfer. Um, I woke up at 4am and I was like, just, just nauseous. So I had to eat. And I ate some Cheerios, so <laughs> that helped a little bit. Um, then Wednesday, um, which was seven days post-transfer, I just felt the cramping um, at night when I was laying in bed. Um, Thursday, I still continued to feel that cramping, like that dull like tightness in my low abs. Um, and I have down that I was super irritable, <laughs> so... Poor Eric was dealing with that. Um, and then Friday morning was actually our beta test, which was when we were going to find out if we were pregnant or not. And for a lot of people that go through IVF, they t- they will take a test, a pregnancy test at home before their beta test. But I just didn't want to do that because you, there's a really high chance of getting a false positive. And, um, or, you know, like you could get a positive, but then you get your beta test and your numbers are actually really low. So I just, I didn't want to, I just wanted to know yes or no, you're pregnant basically. Um, and that's what the beta blood test will do. So Friday morning we went in for that. Um, and I have that video of us. Um, it's the video I just posted last week. Um, so if you are interested in that, I will put it up here and you can go watch that. Um, and I'll also link it down below in the comments. Um, so that's when we found out we were actually pregnant. That was the time we got our big fat positive, like, oh, I can't even believe it. It's just crazy. Um, and then, so yeah, Friday morning before the, um, beta test, I mentioned in that vlog that I was feeling like period cramps, nothing like really intense, just like, like a bloated kind of like my period was about to start. Um, and then we got our positive. So, um, yeah, it was such an awesome day. I can't believe that we're here. Like, I know it's so early, but I just, I've never, ever had a positive pregnancy test. So we're just soaking it in and trying to enjoy every moment and not be too worried and just um, trying to take care of myself <laughs> the best I can. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we are six weeks and um, I'm just, yeah, I can't even say how, much, how happy I am, how many times, probably going to say that a lot, but we're just relieved, so grateful, so happy that this IVF cycle worked the first time. Um, you know, it doesn't work for everyone the first time. I have friends that didn't get their positive this month, and they were doing this like, their cycle at the same time, and it just like, oh, it makes me sad. I wish that... I wish that everyone could just get pregnant when they wanted to. It was not like a problem, especially if you have to use fertility treatments. It should just work, right? But unfortunately, that is not the case. So anyway, um, I am, for all of you out there that are still waiting to get your positive, my heart goes out to you. I really, really hope that you guys find success because you all deserve it. Um, and I'm just praying that everything goes smoothly for those of you who did get your positive this month. Um, I'm praying for us and praying for baby Cherik, um, because it's just, it's been a whirlwind and we're so grateful, but we're just hoping that everything looks good at our first ultrasound. And I will, like I said, keep you guys in my thoughts and prayers. Those of you who did conceive and those of you who are still trying I will definitely be praying for you guys. So um, follow along because we will be um, updating. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do like weekly updates or like, I don't know, every month. I don't know. 
maybe I'll try starting with weekly, weekly updates, but that just seems like it might be a lot. <laughs> you might, you guys might get sick of me like telling you the same things every week. I don't know. I don't know, but it might be fun for me to look back and see how this pregnancy has progressed. So, uh, we'll see. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you can follow along and click the bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.